What's up, guys? <clears throat> All right, so I've been getting rid of stuff lately, and um, mostly just stereos and stuff. So um, up here, it's still a mess, but there was two stereos right here, and um, there was another one over here. So basically, I've got like this giant mess here still. But, at least I don't have three other stereos sitting here, and um, I gotta figure out which one to put where, but, don't know. Really, I, I should probably get rid of a lot of stuff and just make this really nice and simple, you know, not a whole lot of uh, stuff, it's like, um... But you know, last time I tried to sell a radio, I had this radio, I put it on QTH. And, um, you know, I just put that I wanted to, to trade for it. And I get this guy who um, contacts me, and he's nowhere, he doesn't live anywhere near me. And I tell him, I don't want to ship it, I'm local pickup only. And then, so then he asks me, well, how much do you want for it? So... I can tell he's going to be a pain in the ass. So I just give him a ridiculous price. And then he tells me, oh, that's that's really on the high side of, of a radio like that. And um, the radio's not worth anything because of this and this and this and this. And um, I just told him, I said, well, you, you don't have to buy it. I'm not going to ship it, so it doesn't really matter. So unless you absolutely have to have it, you'll have to come get it. And then... Um, he got mad or something and then started to argue with me and um, he said uh, a bunch of crap and then um, called me a son of a bitch but he didn't want to spell it out like he was afraid he'd go to hell if he actually like spelled it out so um, I just told him I guess maybe to be a little bit mean or whatever I was like well I would have gave you the radio for next to nothing or for free till you called me a son of a bitch and then uh then he starts to argue some more and says well i was gonna trade you a icom 756 pro for the radio but you wanted too much money for it and i'm thinking to myself well the price that i told him was what a 756 pro is worth so i don't see how that was an issue but i just told him i said nope i've already got one uh, I, I don't I don't need another one. I don't want yours. I said I, I'm not I'm not shipping anything anyways. So he uh, just keeps going on. And I I try to smooth everything over with him because so I'm like I don't want to argue with this guy, you know. And realistically, the guy's got my address and all this other stuff, and you know, it's just not good to argue with idiots that are uh, obviously nuts. Um, so anyway. Um, he uh, explained himself to me, and then he said, uh, uh, so can we kiss and make up now? And I didn't reply. I was just like, you know, ignored the guy. And um, I asked him uh, something, you know, anyway. And he responded, so we just kind of, like, changed the subject. But I just tried to, like, smooth things over and just, you know, uh, end the conversation. And then a week later, the guy contacts me and says, um, if you give me the radio for free, I'll fly from uh, here uh, down there and rent a car and come pick up the radio. And then he says, even better yet, I just met somebody uh, who lives near you but also has a house near me, and um, I'll have him come collect the radio from you, and then he'll deliver it to my house. And I'm like... Oh my god, this guy's nuts. So I finally told him, I was like, look, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. I don't know why you think that I owe you anything. I said, you called me a bunch of names. You ain't getting fucking shit from me, okay? You're nuts. You're off your rocker. Leave me the fuck alone. And he emailed me back and said, oh, I thought we kissed and made up. Okay, well, good luck. And it's like, wow. So... You know, getting rid of radios is really, like, unless it's a friend, somebody uh, that I know quite well, I really don't, I don't want to sell a radio, I don't want to deal with the bullshit, I don't want to deal with the guy that goes and buys, like, a 101, you know, and doesn't know how to use it, and then burns it up and says, hey, you sold me a bad radio. No, I did not. You don't know how to tune it. 
Um, you know, and it's always an issue with radios because there's so many stupid people out there. And they'll get a radio and they'll hook it up and they've got bad coax and they've got a bad antenna. Well, they don't understand why the radio doesn't work. It's not putting out the power like it's supposed to. You know, because it's folding back power to protect itself. And you must have sold them a bad radio because their CB radio works just fine on that antenna. And it's just like, man, I am so tired of dealing with people like that. And then you get radios like this. Where they just dip shit out not too far away from me. Who contacts me about everything that I have for sale. And owns his own house, owns his own vehicles, everything's paid for, and yeah, he's going to sit here and whine to me about, I'm, I'm having trouble getting $100 to get the radio from you. Jesus fucking Christ, if you can't afford a $100 radio, you need to stop doing what you're doing, stop collecting things, and figure out what your priorities are. Because if you don't have $100 for a radio, you need to be worried about other things like, how are you going to pay your power bill? How are you going to pay your water bill? Not buying a radio. And I let him have it, too, recently, because I've just got to the point where I'm like, I'm fed up with this crap. I'm tired of to dealing with this, you know. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm not that old. I'm 47 years old. I've been a ham for 10 years. And so, like, this year is the year I renew my license. And I seriously have thought about, like, just not even renewing it just because, like, it's been my experience that I, I started out with a background in electronics, and I, I got my extra in the first year. And... I've met some really awesome people, and I've met some real turds. And it is really sad. I, I, I hate to say this. I say this with regret. But some of the shadiest people I've met in my life have been ham operators. They're some of the cheapest, dirtiest, just sneakiest fuckers that you'll ever meet. Like, when you go on Craigslist and you look at radios for sale, or you go to a ham fest, or you whatever, and you talk to somebody... And, you, and they say, well, you know, it, it works the last time I used it. Or, oh, well, I only tested it on 40 meters. Or, works as it should. That's a red flag. And those people are sitting there lying to you. They know it doesn't work. They know there's something wrong with it. And they just want to get rid of it. They've already offered it to all of their friends and everybody else. And now they're selling it on Craigslist or they, they're dumping it off at a ham fest and selling it to somebody hoping they'll never see them again. And that's been my experience with ham operators. As well as, you know, other people. But, like, I'm into other hobbies like tattooing, guitars, and all sorts of other stuff, and cars and automotive. I have never had anybody that's into guitars screw me over. Not like that. I've never had an old man sit there and lie to me and sell me a burned-up radio. Um, and it's happened over and over and over with ham radios. So I've really thought about it. I was like, you know, I get on the radio, I listen. I listen more than I talk. I've got the highest license, and I go down to the extra part of the band, and there's, there, there's nobody I can talk to. <clears throat> I don't relate to anything that they have to say. Um, I don't get into the contests. I did a bunch of FT8, and I'm, I've made lots of cool contacts, and I'm just really, you know, not excited about it anymore. 10 meters doesn't open up very much anymore. You know, I don't get to make those exciting contacts, you know. Um, 40 meters is, is good, you know, but I don't want to stay up all night trying to make weird contacts into Indonesia. So, you know, I've often thought about it. It was like, you know, I don't know, just get rid of everything have one radio and an amplifier and you know i don't know but i probably won't do that <laughs> so anyways um i know there's a lot of people uh that are older than me that watch this channel and a lot of you guys have other stuff that you do and a lot of you guys still do cw and you know i don't know who all has been on here that's just absolutely burned out from the hobby? I know a lot of people have stepped away for like 10, 20 years and came back, you know. But anyway, I'm kind of like, so I sort of feel like, you know, I don't know, stepping away, you know. The thing is, I grew up in Washington and I moved to Seattle from the country, you know, when I was older. And 
you could turn on the radio and you could listen to people on 10 meters. You could listen to people on CB. You could listen to people on 2 meters. There was a lot of activity. And it's still like that today there. But it's just uh, not that way in Arizona. And so you're kind of like limited to um, a few things. And I just kind of like lost interest because it's just not that active. Um, you know, I'm talking to the same group of people on either 40 or 80 meters, you know. And we don't always all agree about stuff, you know. But uh, sometimes it's entertaining. Sometimes it's just boring. So I don't know.